She is a woman who is here to take control. The following contest is an Elimination Chamber match and is for the Wrestling Championship. Introducing the challenger representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Dozens of the toughest men and women in WWE history have braved this structure, and this combatant joins their ranks tonight. The challenger looks focused at the task at hand. She is determined to end the champion's reign tonight. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. Then introducing the challenger from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard-hitting, high-flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. She says she's a top woman in the division. Tonight is her chance to prove it. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Take six of WWE's hungriest stars, add tons of unforgiving steel, and remove all the rules. That is why Elimination Chamber is so devastating. considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only gonna get better. You're right, Cole, it's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. Perhaps the biggest opportunity of her career tonight, but she is more than ready for the challenge. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. And introducing the challenger from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Guys, I was in the arena when the Elimination Chamber debuted in 2002, and somehow this structure has become even more destructive. A lot of pressure on this woman. Tonight is where she needs to prove that she's championship material.
And introducing the champion from New Jersey, she is the wrestling champion, AJ Lee. For over 16 years, this structure has played host to WWE's greatest warriors. You have to wonder if this is the last night she carries that title to the ring. We all know that Elimination Chamber is the most brutal structure in WWE, but what makes this match so unique? Have you seen the structure, Michael? 16 tons of steel, four bulletproof pods, and a structure that towers in it on the top. You gotta be kidding me! Showing absolute shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? No, she kicks out. She just will not go away. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Uh oh. What a hurricane. Ooh, what a forearm club. in the ring now. Baszler to the outside. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Incredible athleticism. And look who's coming to the ring now, guys. This could possibly change the complexion of this match, Michael. Places her right in the corner. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow of the arm. <laughs> oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. Uh-oh. What a hurricane. And there's the takedown. Oh, the challenger's looking shaken. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Thomas. Nasty knee. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. For a hit to do. Other than the obvious structural components, how exactly does the Elimination Chamber differ from or compare to other elimination matches in terms of strategy? Honestly, I think the strategy is still the same as just about any other elimination match. Eliminate somebody as soon as possible. Treat any alliance.
exciting addition to this match. Oh, Bailey's dreams about to end here in this match. Catchy. Oh, look at this, Corey. Look at this. Finding her way out. How did she break that hole? Spectacular. Interesting strategy. A second. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Count. Top rope. Oh, oh, the time's in jeopardy here. I right, think the paradigm is shifting. Gonna take big form. <laughs> she had it scouted. Oh, arms trapped. And did you hear the impact of that? Superb awareness countering Rousey. Just dead lifting right there. The power taking this one back to the ring now. For the win. Kick out after one from the challenger. Her iron will on display for the world to see. on the square, right to the kidneys from behind. <laughs> this deep in looking for the victory. Two count almost had her. And a kick out stays in it. Both competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed. Far off with an elbow. Transition. 
position. The knee bar completely locked in now. Is she gonna tap, 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 tap? What does she have to do to get... And a big boot is her path to freedom. And superb technique from Rousey. Into the ring again. Alexa connects with the DDT. The champ falls with Blaze over. That's gonna be it. Superstars have anything left at this point. The arena is thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. The EST may TNT right here. This is a terrible predicament for Bianca Belair. Sleeper hole is cinched in. Oh my goodness. Not for long. Across the top rope. place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. <laughs> Impressive reversal there. No count out as she takes this one to the floor. Big boot! Jeez. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. That is attacking with malicious intent. Right across the face. Boom. We got a little tandem offense in our future. And that was a precisely measured attack. Now, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. And a bad time for Rousey to find herself on the defensive. Yeah, it's becoming a dangerous scene for Ronda. Get for their troubles. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, set up Matt Slam. She will wisely return to the ring now. Right on the lower back. Shoulder tackle. Alexa Bliss connects with the DDT. Gonna see a new champ. There's two. No, no, not now. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? I'm not sure how Alexa wasn't able to seal the deal after that. Check this out. Oh, with the pin and the win. Yes. Oh, the competitor has been eliminated. Out of the blue, Banish with it on the pin and is dominating Ronda Rousey. Tapped out on the bar. Is Bliss going to tap? Is Bliss going to tap out? I think Bliss is starting to fade. Trying to somehow maneuver their body out of this submission. Dropping bombs, and they're free. It's hard to watch. She should tap. Right, Utilizing her power. 
Hoping to escape, and that'll do it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dog Ziggler. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time yeah. intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! Served in the United States Air Force. Wes Lee yeah. is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an aerial display like none other. Few superstars are as supremely self-confident as Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler believes that he is one of the best to ever climb inside a WWE ring, and he has the swagger to match. Ziggler has gone way past confidence and straight into arrogance. He thinks he's superior to any other superstar in this industry and won't hesitate to tell you so. In fact, Ziggler might just be the most boastful superstar we've ever seen. That may be so, but I'm sure Dolph is ready to prove he's one of the best to ever do it in this match. And ready to face off against him is the high-flying Wes Lee. It often seems like Lee is more at home in the sky than on the mat, Corey. I mean, he did spend time in the Air Force before landing in WWE, Saxton. I don't know if anything in this world can keep Wes Lee. Brought down with a DDT! And 
And Wes is one step quicker. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. It looks like Wesley's wings got clipped a bit there. Ziggler looks supremely confident after landing that attack. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Shorts the elbow. For Dolph Ziggler to win this match, he's going to have to rely on his in-ring savvy. Dolph knows the art of wrestling inside and out like few others. The more he can put his in-ring IQ to work, the better off he'll be. Yeah, Ziggler has lagged a lot of time inside the ring. That could help him find the edge here. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. And shoulders are down. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Missed timing with that springboard. Well, Ziggler looking for the submission hold. Sleeper hold is applied. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give out at this point. Oh, it could be night night time. No, no, maybe not. What a counter. Exhibiting their fearlessness. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. German suplex. Nine. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Say discretion's the better part of valor. It certainly is when you're dealing with the phenom.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Hardcore Championship! The king of strong style has arrived. Shinsuke Nakamura is an international superstar with amazing striking ability. A Royal Rumble winner, a man who's held multiple championships. A top elite level competitor all over the globe. After all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more. Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Paul Heyman. The bloodline is here. Three men who have dominated WWE for over a decade. And the brightest mind in the business by their side. Yeah, all of these men are at the height of their power. And they're only growing, Saxton. The bloodline is as deep as it is dangerous. A decade ago, Roman Reigns set foot in WWE alongside two men, and they changed the world. I dare say the bloodline is even more dominant than that group. When you look at the titles and the main events that Reigns and the Usos have won, it's hard to argue. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready.
Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the Hardcore Champion, Roman Reigns! A rather ceremonious presentation for what's considered one of the most unruly titles in this entire business. to possess the hardcore title. It takes a whole different sort of man to carry that championship. We're going to become a hardcore champion without having a couple of screws loose in the membrane, that's for sure. To have that title, yes, but what about challenging for it? We certainly have two reckless competitors vying for the same prize in this one. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. They're slamming their face down. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Oh, backbreaker. Looking wobbly in the corner. Sliding German. He returns to the ring. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. The challenger eating up some damage. Here's a pin for the title. And the rope will force a break. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Producing a trampling. A lot of people have criticized Roman Reigns for relying too much on his cronies to maintain his standing in WWE. Corey, do you consider that a possible sign of weakness from Reigns? Absolutely not, Cole, because Reigns doesn't need to rely on anyone but himself in the ring. He is where he is because he's the tribal chief. He's proven repeatedly that he had the champions down, the champions down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. The big dog had that scouted. Ooh, nasty kick. Sanders knee to the face. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. A bad place to be for the challenger. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Put it in position now. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Into the axe kick. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Kick right to the back of the leg. Ugh. Drop with a knee to the body. You won't find any sanctuary there. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. This is that one-of-a-kind energy of Shinsuke coursing through his veins. This just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Toss back into the ring. Big punch finds its mark. 
The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, this match has no... Raise DP to climb. The king of strong style close to tap it. Nakamura now looking so tough now. He may lose this thing. The guillotine locked in. This is all. That was an incredible counter. Oh, running to the left. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. The champion with a quick shoulder up. He's still got more left in the tank. Well scattered reversal there. Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each. And his opponent from New York, 
Weighing in at 228 pounds, Jordan. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction. Perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. While he can be rash and temperamental at times, the fire of the drive set Rollins in the ring is undeniable. You can't deny that he's a very passionate competitor who goes after the win with all he's got. And that volatile temper of Rollins can actually fuel him in the ring, making him an unpredictable and savage opponent to deal with. Yeah, draw Rollins' fury at your own risk because it will burn you in the end. But he's tasked with quite the challenge in the form of his competitor across the ring. This guy's been tormenting the WWE roster for weeks now. Jumping knee drop! So precise. Oh. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Furious offense from Rollins. His temper's flaring right now. Go, go, go. So much torque on the knee and ankle. He can end it here. And a kick out. And frustration might be starting to set in. Club. A relentless continued assault from Rollins. Rollins is set to slay. If I'm set, then I'm going to guarantee it. Maybe that will set him up. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want. They're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Big boot over the top and hit the floor hard. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. Whip back into the ring. Able to reverse. Look at this, just unloading. And a... Will this be enough? Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Got to change something up with the pin technique. My, oh my, what elevation. Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. Boom, knock him down. Ouch. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. However you feel about Seth Rollins, he knows how to get the crowd going. Oh, Red right in there. Oh, right to the jaw. It's a revolving door of forwards. Listen to the impact. Rollins with a reversal. Oh, Seth Rollins. Ring. Is it enough? Two count. Man, that was some match, right? You can say that again. Hands raised in victory, but this superstar wants more. Wants to inflict more damage on his defeated opponent. Can somebody explain the point of this to me? There is no point. Of course there's ridiculous. a point. It's called reminding the guy you just beat up that it was you. And you'd do it again if you could.
One bad dude. Saxton, I got a question for you. What's that? Who hotter than Top Dollar? Not not. The Adonis. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. the calling card. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT UK Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 539 pounds. Top dollar and Ashanti the Adonis. And their opponents at a combined weight of 440 pounds. They are the NXT UK Tag Team Champions Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. The prize at stake, NXT UK Tag Team Titles. You can see the pinpoint focus on the faces of these teams tonight. Teams have jockeyed for position for the opportunity to be named the NXT UK Tag Team Champions in this tag team match. And we are starting things off with Top Dalla and Ashante the Adonis. And on the other side of the ring, they are facing off with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. And here's where you got to have the utmost faith in your partner, especially with the... Uh-oh, submission move, exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. He's in complete control. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Oof. There's no way this is going to work. No way. Oh, yes way. Bam. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better 
focus on the opposition. Tag made. Tag made. Oh, no. Nice. DDT. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh. Clean tag for his partner. Sharp clothesline. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. And there was some force on that move. Kick out and one for the challenger. He's not even close to being done yet. Beautiful athleticism. Hurricane Rana. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. No fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Nice running crossbody. Pass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, oh man. He wants even more out of his opponent. like this to keep fresh. Super. 
suplex into a powerball. How's that for a counter? Oh, what a right hook. What a battle we are witnessing. We're on a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. He knows how to avoid contact. Flinged across the way. Tag. Punch right in the head. No, oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh, and again. They win to wear down your opponent. Tampa's down, title change, I can feel it. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Here he comes off the tag. Close eyes. Good Lord, so effective. Beautiful athleticism. purpose of a tag team is don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers am i being diplomatic enough cole
and defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. It's a barrage of strikes. Oh my God! What a raucous crowd here tonight. Oh my God! What impact! The Glamazon is a danger that most are not prepared to handle. Arguably the most fit. Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Priest has truly embraced. underway we are starting with edge and beth phoenix of course you can't count out the opposition here as you see damian priest and rhea ripley there is so much animosity between these two teams i think the men and the women are really going to give it their all here Inflicted. These women have been chopping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. Close line! Off with their head. Gentlemen, <laughs> suplex! Running leg drop! She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to lead the ring, too. Boom, what impact! Oh, 
launching himself from the ropes. And will this be it? Gets the shoulder up and one. Not even a near fall there. Big knee to the midsection. Oh! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Quick take down there. Sit out. Nasty. Boom. Boom. Nice. A little psychological warfare at play here from the nightmare. A little strong impact. The whole ring in between them and a collision in the corner. She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break, too. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. As the leg trap, Fisherman suplex. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Down in a hurry. Able to evade. Shoots a half. Hold on. Oh my! He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. Oh, boom. She scurries out of there. This is impressive. This is crazy strength. Crashing down with a vertical suplex. This is just brute power. She got her down. Is this it? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She's still in this one. And now the tag resets the action as the men get set to do battle. to that pin attempt. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Ooh, clothesline delivered. What a barrage of stops. A little psychological warfare at play here from the nightmare. Drop kick. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Whoa. Beth Phoenix is playing that power. Look at her opponent. The accordion rack is in. The submission is locked in. Tap here. out coming. It's Tap over. out coming. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. 
Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Look at this raw And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. She tags out, so now it's the men one on one. High cross body. Oh, man. What a strike. Priest has his opponent up. becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. He gets the tag, and that means his opponent has to switch with his partner, too. Oh, boom! This match is wearing her down. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, best caught by the counter. She's totally unprotected. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, what a clubbing blow. She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to leave the ring, too. Nice clothesline. Sidestep there. Oh, good night. Well, Dodge in the corner. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. Damian Priest. Rip locked in. Sucked the heaven. Priest has him staring at the lights. You can't deny that Edge fights with every ounce of his being. That was close, but Damian Priest doesn't look like he's letting that distract him from the task at hand. All right, that's it. Oh, the swift takedown. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Ooh, what a forearm club. Shoulder tackle. Oh, right to the leg. Ripley is down, and she might be out. Double chicken wing applied. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Bad spot for Ripley. Look at this. She better have a good reason for this. Boom, oh, what impact. Uh-oh. Quick thinking pays off. Beth sizing her up. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, and that got oh, man. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Edge gets out of the way. Picture, perfect takedown. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Ugh. Work on that shoulder. Oh, oh God! The advantage is turned towards Priest. Edge's defenses are being mowed down, and it's Edge getting out of that one. Could be what Edge needed to ignite a rally. Oh, ouch! He's going for the pin. This could be it. And Ripley cuts off the count in one. The muscles. 
Universal memory has got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Right to the knee. He gets the tag, and that means his opponent has to switch with his partner, too. Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair. That's the airplane swing. Beth wasting a bit of time here. Good cost her. the action as the men get set to do battle. Close line. No. Oh, my God. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Take down. Look over the cross face. Oh, my God. Superhuman power. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. We're going to free the arm and does just that. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Gibbs first across the barricade. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to me. Get to the gut. Here it comes. That's a tie. I think Ripley can end this. Cover. Two. She did it. She picked up the victory. Here are your winners. Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. The Judgment Day. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. child of Eric Bischoff has determined champions, set WrestleMania main events, and settled a lot of grudges. This guy has a lot of fight in him, and competing for the title will make him even tougher. Batista's story is that of indescribable rage. He has this insatiable desire to inflict pain on his prey. Yeah, it is really frightening when you think about what Batista is truly capable of.
He won the Royal Rumble in two different decades. He's a decorated champion, a Hollywood action movie star. And Batista doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's obsessed with what he wants, and what Batista wants is domination. Time to unleash the rage. Hey, Michael. It's night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And introducing the challenger, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Count. <laughs> That's a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! I can't imagine what it must be like locked inside the unforgiving structure. The one, the only, Logan Paul. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds. He is the wrestling... Corey, from a career standpoint, what does the Elimination Chamber represent? It means everything for the winner. <laughs> Championships and WrestleMania main events are usually the prize here, and either of them can be a major boost to a superstar's career. We've seen it in the past. What goes on in the Chamber for the winner and the losers have tremendous impacts on their livelihoods. Everything's on the line. He may get the three count right here! I think so! The challenger fending off the two count. How is the challenger still in the uh-oh, look at this. Inverted. Olympic slam. Ooh. Set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the corner. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. This 
this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Here he is, guys, on a mission and ready for action. Yeah, well, he better keep his head on a swivel. One mistake and he could be out of here just as quickly.
coming. Go behind. that this is his show. Hilarious. Cover! Shoulder shoots up before two. Wow, I thought this was over. Ooh, nice bulldog. Ooh. Able to interrupt the attack. And just like that, he sent crashing to the floor. is in some big trouble. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And there is the recoil for Ricochet. The champ's eyes were glazed over. Batista Ricochet has been eliminated. He's eliminated. Owen set to the outside. Out of the ring and on the chamber floor now. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Continuing to work on the arm with a, and a carefully measured knee drop. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Knee strike. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them.